Good morning, Grant Middle School. Today is Tuesday, the 17th. It is a 2.30 dismissal. I'm your host, Craig Bubin, and this is my co-host, Carter Markham. Today is an odd day. Our new theme song is an original score written by Mr. D and the second period music appreciation class. How amazing. We have so much talent in this building. What is on the menu today? Taco on whole grain tortilla or toasted three cheese sandwich. Please clean up after yourself after lunch and breakfast. Treat yourself, others, and the building with respect. Also, remember, there is no food allowed in classrooms. Please be respectful to our learning environment. Students, you need a green or the laminated nurse pass in order to see the nurse. You cannot just go on your own. Now to sports. Thank you, CJ and Carter. Cheer practice will be Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2.40 to 4. Volleyball will have an open gym tonight, October 17th from 2.45 to 4 o'clock. The 6th grade boys basketball will practice Wednesday the 18th from 1.45 to 3.30 p.m. and Friday the 20th at 2.45. 7th and 8th grade girls basketball will have practice tonight 4.15 to 6 p.m. Wednesday, the girls will have the Peoria Quest at 4 o'clock. They will play at Blessed Sacrament on Thursday the 19th at 6, 6 p.m. Dang. 7th <clears throat> and 8th grade boys basketball will have tryouts tonight, October 17th from 2.45 to 4 p.m. Good luck, boys. 7th and 8th grade boys basketball will practice Wednesday the 18th and Friday the 20th from 6 to 8 p.m. 6th grade girls basketball will play Saturday the 21st against Jefferson Middle School at Washington Middle School at 11 a.m. 6th grade boys basketball will also play Saturday against Franklin Middle School at Franklin at 9 a.m. Now back to CJ and Carter. Thank you, Keon. What activities are coming up? Thank you, CJ and Carter. Remember, jazz t-shirts are still for sale in the band room for $20. The, the first yearbook meeting will be today, October 17th, in Miss Stevenson's room during advisory. This is only for those students chosen for the committee. Chess Club will be re returning the first Monday of the month after school. This means the next meeting will be November 6. Please meet in the band room. GMS Trauma Drama Troupe will meet on Wednesday on October 18th from 1.45 to 3.15 in the art room. <laughs> Uh, students should be prepared to perform your di dialogues. Thank you from Drama Troop sponsors, Miss Brunette, Miss Pennington, and Miss McDonald. Scholastic Bowl members, due to the 1.30 dismissal on Thursday, there will be no practice. Also, please check out the Pride of the Generals bulletin board outside of the cafeteria. It looks great, and we'll give you upcoming meetings meeting dates. Remember, Pride of the Generals is an all-inclusive group that supports our LGBTQ community at GMS as well as anyone else who wants to attend. All are always welcome. Back to CJ and Carter for the rest of our announcements. Thank you, Calissa. Get out there and get involved. Make sure you are ready for the metal detectors when you get to school. Look through this list. It will help you prepare. Bring those clothes to PE. Administrative lunch detention lists are posted in three spots around the school, on the bulletin board outside of room 112, outside of room 227, and between rooms 215 and 217. You, the student, need to check that list. Detention names are no longer read before lunch shifts. Additionally, after-school detentions have started. They are Tuesday and Thursdays after school from 2.30 to 4. Please know, if you are sent out by a substitute, it will automatically be two after-school detentions. If you are removed from lunch detention, it will result in an automatic, automatic after-school detention. Just like lunch detentions, these will be listed on the informational boards around the building. The Purple Positive Store will be open every Friday during all three lunch shifts. Check out the list. Miss Nepler will be selling chips, candy, and soda during lunch shifts in her office. Fifth Annual Central Illinois HBCU slash State College Fair is tonight. HBCU stands for Historic Black Colleges and University. This event is so informative and fun. Check out the flyer. There are so many amazing things happening in one night. Hope you can go. It is a Union Baptist Church. Picture retake day is October 19th. You must be on the students not photograph list that teachers will receive or have a picture packet you are exchanging 
or have a packet to order now. Any questions, please please see Miss Stevens. Remember, Learning Lab is offered Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 2.45 to 4. If you need help getting work made up or explained, this is a great resource. Find the link on one of your teacher's Canvas page. Be sure to fill out the form before the last lunch shift. Meet in the all-purpose room if you do stay. The Halloween dance is coming up on October 25th. It is from 6 to 7.30. In order to attend, you cannot have any office referrals between October 10th and the time of the dance. This week of the dance, Miss Ann will sell tickets for five dollars. Remember, remember, costumes are welcome and encouraged. It's really the best part. No masks, no weapons, slash look-alike weapons. There will be a cost costume contest for a variety of categories. Oh, and there will be snacks to purchase. And our teacher conferences are coming up next week, Thursday, October 19th. The conferences are from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Friday, October 20th, the conferences are from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Because of conferences, Thursday is Thursday the 19th is a 1.30 dismissal. Students, we want you to attend the conferences. We should call them parent-slash-teacher-slash-student conferences. Bring your binder. Share your work with your parents or guardians. Introduce your family to your teachers, celebrate your success, and make action plans where you might need to need improvement. We have some dress code reminders from Miss Yost. It's getting colder. No jackets slash coats are allowed in class. No purses are allowed in class. Please remember to put your hoods down when entering the building. Remember to be respectful of others' properties to and from school. The expectation at Grant is to keep your hands and feet to yourselves at all times during the school day and on your way to and home from school. For your safety, students should only cross at the designated crosswalk areas. Chatham Road, stand with Mr. Williams and Amos. Now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Ms. Reed's advisory class. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today jokes come from Elijah E. Banks. What is a ghost's favorite fruit? What? A blueberry. If you have a joke you want to share, email it to Ms. Buckles or write it down on a piece of paper and place it in the box that's out of room 203. Our idiom today is feel the pinch. If you are feeling the pinch, you're finding it harder to survive on your income. Inflation has been pretty bad recently, so we've been feeling a pinch. Our vocabulary word is ruse. A ruse is a clever way to fool someone or a trick. We, we had to come up with a good bruise in order to get Sam to a surprise birthday party without him becoming suspicious. Speaking of birthdays, do we have any? Kavea Perkin in 7th. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Remember to take your comfort home and get it charged.